we can... Uh. Ah! I'm Greg Davis and I'm a very nice man. You'll often find me whistling and skipping down the street. Tra la 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 la! <laughs> I may stop, scoop up some abandoned dog mess, lead a senior citizen across the road. I may restrain an errant youth and correct his behaviour. But <laughs> even nice people need a release sometimes. Somewhere to let out suppressed anger, a howl in the night, a place where darkness can run amok. Welcome to Taskmaster! <laughs> And the very best of luck to... <laughs> Dora Bream! <laughs> Fred Brady! John Kearns! <laughs> Winnie Chihuahua! And Sarah Millican! <laughs> and to my left, a man who told me in confidence he's scared of three things. Slugs, small spaces and women being allowed to vote. <laughs> Nice task time. Yes, it is, and it's something we all think about once a week. <laughs> because you've asked them this week to bring in the thing that you most want on a Sunday morning. Mm. Ooh. Yes, yes, I didn't have to think too long about this one. You know. <laughs> so Greg will give a big five to his fave, and then at the end of the show, the person with the most points will take home all the ingredients for a perfect Sunday morning. OK? Yes. Good. Hello, Sarah. What's your perfect thing for a Sunday morning? Well, I stay in hotels a lot on tour and people in hotels think you should be up at 8 o'clock because they're dicks. <laughs> <laughs> and I always have a Do Not Disturb sign on my door in a hotel. Even I never want my room cleaned because I'm quite a dirty person. <laughs> so I bought my own Do Not Disturb sign. There it is. <laughs> oh. That's <laughs> the first prize on offer. I think there's nothing more aggressive than a Do Not Disturb sign that doesn't match everybody else's Do Not Disturb sign. <laughs> wow. Mm, I can't tell if the bar is high or low. <laughs> well, the rage is what I enjoy. Oh, you always do, yeah. <laughs> well, we're moving on to John now, who's come last in the last two ones of these. Hello, John. Very best of luck to you. Thank you. It's a, a business card. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you want oh. me to... Oh. Who's want... Anne Ferns next, is she? <laughs> do you want to see... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, yeah. It says, uh, know, know what you want and have the confidence to go after it. Yeah. <laughs> If you're walking down the street and someone gave you that... Yeah. That, you know, hello, yes, bang. Know what you want and have the confidence to go after it. A, you're keeping that for the rest of your life. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's, also, it's all you're thinking about all day. I would like it, I think, if someone gave me that. Yeah, look, everyone reading that, know what you want, so that's tricky, but... Yeah, and then have the confidence to go after it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we've read it. Um, <laughs> Fern, what have you brought in? It's my favourite... Breakfast soup. This is her favourite breakfast soup. Lovely. Ooh. It's like a savoury tofu pudding yep. uh, that people have in China. I think Alex has some. Mm. Here you are. There's the slop. <laughs> yes, yes, try it. Try it. Ching to Isha. Well, obviously. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Fishy, it's very spicy and oh. quite crunchy. Can mm. I try some? Yes, please do. Oh my god, Greg, I thought you weren't going to try it because aren't you from Shrewsbury or something? <laughs> 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 well, you, you seem like you just eat roasts. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, yeah. Mm. That is. It is, isn't it? Tastes like a farmyard. <laughs> <laughs> it's the flavour of hopelessness. <laughs> um, Ronya. Hello. <laughs> I have bought in the Super Grater 3000. Yes, here it is. The Super Grater. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's grabbed a grater on his way out of the house. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a grater. This thing here is essentially a cheese grater of the foot. Oh. <laughs> it can be used on wet and dry feet. I mean, it's one of the bleakest images. <laughs> It's, it's the bleakest image I've had since I imagined sharing breakfast with Fern. <laughs> All right, Dara. This should be a piece of piss, I imagine. 
I brought in a yeah. massive segmented frying pan. And here it is. I find, like, that's supposed to be doing, you know, rashes in one place, eggs in another, sorry. beans in another. I'm sorry, Dara, are you under the impression I haven't got one of these? <laughs> I find, I often, even on a Sunday, like a lighter breakfast. I do, I like a little bit of fresh fruit, maybe some pineapples, cereal. Uh, oh. I'm aware as well that any time you do anything on the television that looks like you've wasted food, yeah. uh, people get very angry about that, like whatever, it should be noted that the pineapple uh, and the yoghurt go back in the fridge, uh, the bagel went back in the bread basket, the kids ate the Cheerios, and then to get rid of the orange juice, I got a straw so that we weren't wasting any food at any stage. Oh, it, it was you that sucked it, it wasn't that old man. <laughs> Ready? Oh, yes, right. Where are we starting? One? You know where we're starting. We're starting with old Smooth Feet. Ooh. Well, what, who is that? Because that is his actual nickname. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, uh, I'm giving um, poor old Munya one point, I'm OK, afraid. Munya, one point. Well done. Sarah's rage delighted me. Oh, God, it's between Sarah and the Chinese soup. <laughs> <laughs> For the sake of hotel stuff, I'm going to give her two points. OK, two to Sarah. Yeah, unbelievably, that soup gets three points. Right. I mean. <laughs> now, this is where things get controversial. And the truth is, if someone gave me that business card in the street, I honestly think it would make my day. Wow. So, against all odds, and it just shows you how deeply unfair this show is... <laughs> giving John Kearns five points, and I'll stand by it. Right, so it's four points to Dara Breen, but five <gasps> to John Kearns! There it is! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Thank you, Dara. Very good. All right, my furry chum, what's next on the agenda? Well, it's a gritty team task, Greg. Mm. Hello, Sarah. Hi, Alex. Hello, Monia. Hi, Alex. Hello, Fern. Hiya. <laughs> right. Fern, Fern, wait for your team. Oh, sorry, did I tell you to do them? Yeah. I'm not really a team player. <laughs> Secure the perimeter. Place half your hands on half your hips and leave them there until the second part of the task is over. Also... The hands that are on hips must only touch those hips until the second part of the task is over. We, we have to touch each other. You can touch each other. You have two minutes. Read it again. Yeah, I need to... Right. Place half your hands... So one hand... ..on one half one your hip. hips. I don't understand this. I thought it meant half of my hand. Yeah, but collectively. And leave them there until the second, second part, part of the task, the task is, is over. over. So until it's done. Depending on what the task is, we might be making it very difficult ourselves by all having one hand, whereas it could be much easier if one person had two hands. We should keep one pair of hands free. Oh, oh, you're so good at this! I think your time starts now. Like a conga. Are we, con are we conging this, right? So, do you want to conga me? I'll conga you. OK, fine. <laughs> OK. You have my consent. Yeah? There we I go. have your consent. Yeah, yeah, my hips are unhanded. And my hips are definitely being handled. <laughs> Down the moment, there are four hands on four. Yes, take your hand. That hand is free. One hand on your hip. And Dara put has both hands, hands on yes. the hip. No! Take that hand off. Mines are here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Good fun, John. So that hand's on that hip. Yeah. How did we... I thought I that didn't understand it, but John really doesn't understand I it. I do understand okay. it. With your hands on those hips at all times, put the most sand in the shopping trolley. You may only move the shopping trolley when there is one minute left on the clock. Oh my God. You have ten minutes. So your time starts now. So where is the sand? Exactly. Where is the sand? Right. Let's go look for the sand. Okay. We got. We got to go look for it. Okay. John, don't put your... Stop, stop, you can only have one hand on my hip. How do you not understand uh, that? Yeah, Sorry. Back. <laughs> Team of three, talk me through your tactics. <sighs> <laughs> we got the idea, hands have to be on hips. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. But we forgot that they could just be our own hips. Yeah. <laughs> And that was probably the most obvious thing to do, just for one person to stand like that for the entire task. For yeah. some reason, we, we felt that we should human centipede it. Uh... <laughs> but I think the fact that 
we all didn't realise that we could just have one person doing that means that maybe the task wasn't that well written. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, I don't write them, so... <laughs> we were hoping for one of the teams to be stupid enough to put their hands on each other's hips, but we weren't expecting everyone. <laughs> Was it more of a team when we were together? Yeah, we did both. It was Divide and yeah. Conger. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> OK. Do you want to yes. carry on? Do you want to carry on? No, do you want to carry on? Do you want to You sure? Go to VT. OK. <laughs> well, we're going to see the team of two, first of all. So here's how Sarah and Munya got on. It's really hard to not do. You may... <laughs> hey, you may only move the shopping trolley when there's one minute left on the clock. We need to get the trolley sandproof so it doesn't all leak out. Oh, they've got rid of all the buckets. There we go. Right, so I'm going to scoop. Good work. One pot's not going to be enough, is it? Open your legs, because I need to swing this. <laughs> <laughs> Just slide it in, yeah? yeah? Yeah, because the thing is, sometimes I lose my head. How many minutes we got left, Alex? Two Oops. minutes and forty-eight. Two minutes. Okay. Shit. And forty-eight. I'm gonna double. Wait. Yep. Let's go around. Don't let me go. No, nope, not let me go. Ah! Oh, are you alright? Oh! I crush my fingers. <laughs> Keep going. Such a hero. You got one minute and fifty seconds. We're gonna have to really run for the trolley, yeah, you know. Good work. Count us down when it's ten, yeah. Okay. As in, one minute ten. It's now one minute ten. One. Right, let's one. go to the trolley. Yep. Ready? Go, 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 go. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. <laughs> go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh, 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 Okay, let's get in. You get in first. Oh. Hold that open. Yeah. How long? How long? Ah, what? shit. No. You didn't even count us down. <laughs> you didn't even count down. I said count at ten. One minute ten, you said. <laughs> oh, no, we're so close. You've got one bucket in. Up to you. I would have liked um, a separate camera just on Sarah and her contribution to the task, which was it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lovely time. It was sort of permission to touch someone. Yeah. <laughs> Manu said, uh, you can be more rough with these hips. <laughs> Next. Well, actually, before we see the team of three, mm. one of them would like me to play in a different video first. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you this. OK. Hi, John. Yeah? You OK? <laughs> yeah. Sabotage your team in their <laughs> next task. If your team loses the task, you win five points. If your team wins the task, you win zero points. <laughs> if your team accuses you of sabotaging the task, <laughs> you win zero points. So the only way you win is if you lose. You understand? Yeah, well, I do understand, sadly. That's still... that's nasty. Well, I'll let you think about that for a bit, John. Oh, man. Good luck. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> He's not even making eye contact with us now, and this feels like one of your relatives has been talking to the FBI about you and then just silently lifts up their T-shirt and there's a microphone pack <laughs> on their body. Yeah. Can I, can I say it's actually kind of a relief? Because at the time, I thought he was an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought John was an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my 
fucking hell. <laughs> John, John's been sitting on this for four months now. You had such a go at me. <laughs> so here's how the team of three got on. How fast do you want me to walk? Well, I'd say faster than this. OK, well, I, I, it was in case. Daft here in the middle. Uh... Oh, we need containers. A bucket, bucket or something. Eight minutes. Hold on, John. Yeah. You're just moved up a metre to my arse. You're crouching under the rope. You're just spreading it around. No, no, so. no, 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 no. Right, there's the pat of that. There's so many better ways you could have done this. <laughs> I mean, that's the one thing I have here is time I to reflect. I wouldn't complain, though. I think just... You're doing a lot of complaining and I'm doing a lot of the labour you're, here. Oh, you're, honestly, you're both doing a brilliant job there. Well, I'm, I'm just reflecting. The There's a much better way to do it. Oh, no, I, I, Why um, did you do that? Oh, my God, did you knock it over? Why did you do that? Oh, my God, look! <laughs> OK. OK. Sorry, fun. Well, what if we, we get one of these oh, yeah, take pots? Oh, yeah, it under there, yeah. How long's left? This is ready. You've got four minutes, 20. Oh, brilliant. This is the best plan. Hold well on, John! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want you coming in? Yeah, quite. Here we go. <laughs> How you doing, Dora? I mean... I would sooner not be in this exact position for the entire task. Oh, hang on. Watch the bucket of sand behind me. I don't want to knock over the bucket of sand. <laughs> you have to go that way. You have to go that way. John, you have to go that way. John, you have to go that way. No, I don't want to so, knock over the... No, you don't, don't want to knock over the no, bucket no, no. of sand. John, be really careful because yeah, you're... Yeah. There we go. Where, where's, the, where's, where's the... Uh... Careful, 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 I don't know if there's time, you know. I think we should just make our way We've back. Yeah. Hold on, under John! Under the rope, under the rope! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh fuck! The, uh... There's a hole in the bucket! Oh, no. I think we should just go back. Okay, I'll go back. Away. I just want to get... Well, we can't move it until uh, the one-minute bell strikes. Alex. How long? You've now got yeah, one yeah. minute. One minute. Can go, we move go, it? Go, go. Right, yeah. let's move it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, come on, come on, come on! Oh, wait, 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 wait. See, this is when it all pays off. Uh, do we have to put it back anywhere? No, we don't move it back. Do we? Do we have to all the information's on the task, there, John. <laughs> <laughs> okay. you have, uh, 20 seconds, John. Uh, when there's one minute left, so... Yours is done. Put the, put the hat... Put, put, sorry. Touch me! <laughs> put that in there. Wait, no, what are you doing there? That's put it in the there. trolley. It's just in the trolley. Oh, I thought it had to be in one thing. No, Ten just seconds. It, 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 it doesn't have to be in one thing. No, it doesn't. It does it. Yeah, yeah. It got to be in one thing. Wait, it doesn't say that. 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 It Please. You've just thrown all the sand out. <laughs> I can't believe you threw out all the oh. sand. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know where to start. <laughs> Fern had already called you Dafty in the medal <laughs> <laughs> before the task sabotage even started. <laughs> but he turned the hat upside down and just started laughing. <laughs> And you just both went, what are you doing? <laughs> I, I did so much work. I did most of the work in yeah. that task, and then da the whole time Dara was just barking orders from the back. <laughs> well, John just yeah, like, like, well, mischievously well, did stuff in the yeah, middle, so I yeah. felt like I did the most oh, there. You were really industrious, and I, and I hope this Thank pans you. out that you do get some points and John doesn't. I, I, I admit, though, I'm <laughs> a bit worried, because although, you know, I got rid of the hat and that long tube, we both had one bucket of sand. Yeah, it's mm. close. It's very close. What do the scales say, baby? So if the team of three win, John loses. If the team of two wins, John wins. Oh. Yeah. The team of two got 21 kilograms 21 of sand. 21 kilograms. How are you feeling? Hopeful. I'll wait till you finish the rest of the sentence. <laughs> so the team of three put in 20... Oh! 0. 0.9 kilograms oh! of sand. Oh! Oh. Oh. Index the fact that some of it fell 
comes through the bottom of the thing because you, you... Did you scoop it off the, the slats of the, uh, of the trolley? The slats were very thin. There was not a lot of sand on the slats. <laughs> Well, there it is. So what does that do points Well, it means, wise? unfortunately, Dara and Fern don't get any points, but all three, Sarah, Munya and John, get five points. There it is. Sometimes dirty deeds pay. Let's have a scoreboard, please, Horn. <laughs> OK, I've got the scoreboard right here, and John is having his best ever episode by Miles. He's in the lead with ten points. <laughs> Very good. Another task, please, little Dolly. Right you are. And let's all scream for ice cream. <laughs> Look what I made you. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Oh, damn, what's been going on in this room? Oh, ice cream. You like ice cream? I like some ice creams. Some of it looks gross. Identify the ice cream flavours. <laughs> Most correct ice cream flavours identified wins. You have ten minutes. And you must find every flavour delicious. 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 That's controlling. The time starts now. Alex, I'm on a no-sugar diet. You lot have done me dirty because you picked my one weakness. You want me to break my diet? Will it have an instant effect on your body? Then I'd love to see it. <laughs> it's very important to find each flavour delicious. Mm. And there may be more than one flavour in all of them, in fact. What are you talking about? <laughs> right, so I've got ten minutes to identify ice cream, not even tasting them. What is the sauce? Yes. What is that? Yes, what is it? I thought Fern sounded like she was in the kebab shop at three o'clock in the morning. Oh, I know. I know. Play out. Yeah, I can play that sound. Here we go. What is the sauce? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry to say I just have the voice of a drunk person. <laughs> <laughs> um, What's going on with this sugar thing, then, Munya, before I start judging you? You see, the thing is, yeah, the dentist told me I was one millimetre away from a root canal. Oh, my God, I'm going to penalise you so heavily. <laughs> <laughs> no! Please, please. You want to see some? Yeah! OK, we're going to start with three of them first. Sarah, Munya and Fernia. Here we go. Mmm, this one looks like it's going to be purple hard. You must find it delicious, please. Oh! Very nice. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's a bit salty, that is. Mm. Wait, so I can eat this? I know what it is, but I don't know what it is. Dog biscuit. <laughs> That's dog food, isn't it? That's dog food. Crisps, isn't it? Mmm, delicious. That is. Fucking file. Right, next one. What is it? Curry powder. Okay. Tandoori ice cream. Coronation checker, in it. This one. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. No. <laughs> Just smells of nothing. Chili and. It's got mango. How about mash ice cream? Because it's got the consistency of mash. Some sort of Mexican flavour. Right. I've been doing really well so far. Mmm. Cream flavour. Cream flavour ice cream. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is there something else? Oh, is it breast milk? Coconut licorice. That sounds nice. It's just vanilla. I think it's a curveball. White chocolate and breast milk. Because mm. that is a thing. Don't do olives. Tiny, shitty grapes. You've only got one and a half minutes. Oh, bugger hell. I'm just going to have the green stuff. You must find each flavour delicious. <laughs> Olive green smoothie. That's my, that's my answer. Ooh. 
I've been excited about this one. Last one. Never said that's available before and gone in for more. Yeah, also you have to say it's delicious. Oh, sorry. That's northern for delicious. Petrol or something. Maybe something cheesy. OK. Fucking salt and petrol or something. Ugh. Please find it delicious. Ugh. It's so horrible! You can stop now. I mean, on reflection, you sounded like you were in a kebab house throughout. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing, I don't know how to, whether I'm going to penalise people, because you were supposed to make out it was delicious throughout. Sarah, the very first thing you said after you tasted one is, and I quote, what the fuck is that? <laughs> like, ooh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah. um, Monia, you appeared to be trying to smell flavours. <laughs> to avoid a solitary filling? I think it's more of a, an achievement to have snorted ice cream, cos I got that one right, didn't I? There are ten flavours there, you got one of the ten. <laughs> Shall I tell you what the actual flavours were? Please. The dog food one, they thought the dog food was marmite and porridge. Then we had curry and naan bread. We've accepted most of their curry answers. Uh, cornflakes and chilli. Most of them got chilli. Then we had white chocolate and macaroni and cheese. And then the petrol one was bechamel sauce and Brussels sprout puree. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful. So, out of them, Manya only got one flavour. Sarah, two, Fern, three of the flavours. Does something cheesy not count as macaroni cheese? Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> now for the final two, it's John and Dara. This is going to be rancid. Oh, it's very nice. Delicious. I mean, that's a quite chocolate. White chocolate. Okay. White chocolate. There's bits in that. There's bits. Right. Tell me about the bits. Marshmallow. Oh, that's a delicious kick off that. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Would you like a glass of water? Oh yeah. Delicious water coming up. Mmm. Sweet. Jesus. Sounds nice. It's not just nice, it's delicious. <laughs> this thing's driving me crazy. <laughs> wasabi, maybe? Wasabi? You could have wasabi? With curry. Tikka masala. We're in the last 45 seconds. It's delicious. <laughs> there might be more than one flavour in yeah. there. Yeah. No, I think you really got sound here. Mm. Yeah, it's Marmite. Marmite. OK. Delicious. Oh, it was delicious. What a treat. <laughs> well, I must commend both gentlemen for making an effort with the deliciousness. Thank you. First, contestant so far to pretend they liked it. I particularly enjoyed Dara's. There's a delicious kick off that. <laughs> 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 and you both did some great face acting as well. That was not acting. That was a genuine human response yeah. to my body wanting to expel what I just put into it. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> they seemed pretty good, though. Well, they both got the Marmite, which was very pleasing. They both got curry and white chocolate, but Dara got one extra because he got the chilli as well. So it means that Munya. Uh, only gets the one point, then Sarah gets two points. John and Fern come joint second, having guessed three flavours, so they get four points each, but the winner of this task is Dara Breen, who gets five points! <laughs> Next task, please. OK, ready? Catch! Word up, my slime. Ah. Word up. Hello. Oh, hello, Fern. Mm. Catch something. Catch something. Most spectacular catch wins. You have 20 minutes. Time starts now. Has anybody got COVID? No? No, I don't have COVID. Have you got no. any sort of infectious 
diseases? I had appendicitis when I was eight. Oh. I remember catching something when I was a kid. My dad kicked an American football in the air. I, I really remember catching it. Are you good at catching? Yeah, if I can see the thing coming. But how much better would it most spectacular be if I couldn't see it coming? Oh, my God. So my first thought is just illnesses, but I just don't think any of us have got time. So first things first, I need a ball. I'm just going to find a ball, Alex, OK? OK. You stay right there, my slime. What do you catch? Catch a fish? But everyone's going to say catch a fish. What could I catch? Nothing's alive in here. You don't want to go outside and just catch things. What would I catch outside? The birds? Uh, I wouldn't worry about animals. People? Kidnap. <laughs> also, when you, whenever there's one of these, you have to do it. <laughs> Mine's better. Mine's always better. Oh, shit. So, your first three instincts of what you could catch, <laughs> Fern, are a fish, a bird, people. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I, I thought that was all obvious things to say. John, do you want to tell us more about the moving story from your youth before we crack? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's a, it's a vivid childhood memory that I, I caught it and I, I kept on running. <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've, not, you've not seen any of your family since. <laughs> 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 That's <laughs> some spectacular catches. Fine. Yes, it's a simple task. Most spectacular catch wins. We're going to start with Mun and John. Here we go. Alex, how good are you at throwing? Pretty good. I was thinking of maybe um, punting it over the house and then uh, running around and catching it. I'm going to sit on Greg's shoulders and you're going to go all the way to the other side of the house and throw the ball into my bucket. Yeah? Yes. <sighs> right then. <laughs> throw it! Oh, no. Alex, more power! More power. <laughs> right. I've just got to go high. Oh, dear. No, Alex! Come on! <laughs> no. <sighs> and again. More power! Oh, Don't swear at me, Alex. <laughs> go on, go on! The problem is, I'm not round here when it lands. <laughs> no. My arm hurts. Everyone watching this right now thinks we can't do it. I don't think we but can do it. that's what's going to make it impressive, right? Let me see that fire. Go on, that's like... Ah! No, listen to me. Again, you're, you're half holding back. I want you to see you go... Ah! Shoulder hurts. Ah! Ah! Yes, nearly, Alex. One more. Ah! That's the way to go, though. Yeah! Alex, we nearly had it! One more, one more! Yeah! Oh, no! Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, well, something's happened! Something fucking happened! I caught one. You take that. This is my last ball. Are you ready? Yes! OK, here we go, Monia. Was it you said when Money had quite reasonably asked you to put more power into your throat? I, did, did I, did I, I don't know. What did I say? I'll tell you what you said. Right. You whispered to yourself, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> 13 series. That's the first yeah. time you've ever sworn. Well, how do you think that made Money? Look at Money's face now. Yeah. yeah. He's only 21 or something. <laughs> <laughs> the first time, I've, first time I've ever sworn. John, this is what I wrote down. When I was at primary school, there was a boy called Morgan who got sent home one day because he tried to eat the hood off his own coat. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout that task, 
You reminded me of Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> OK, next up, like all of us, she's scared of fires. Yes, it's Berna Frady. A falling star. I know. Powered only by turquoise fart. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, I thought I'd show a little making of video so we can all admire the effort that Fern put into hers. <laughs> Next up. It's not the mayor of Silicon, no, it's Sarah Millican. I got it. Yes, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I particularly liked the yeah. romance of that with this twat in the background. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure he was going to be in the actual editor. Oh, really? <laughs> I it was supposed to look like I was blowing it out. <laughs> <laughs> Did sort of mess with the romance right. of it a little bit. I really it? enjoy. I'd never used a fire extinguisher before. I now use them all the time. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> Last one. Yes, finally, it's the date of birth himself. D O B Dara O'Brien. Oh. Wait there, little one. You wait there, I will close the door. Oh, my baby! Yeah! What has happened to my baby? Who saved my baby? It was a hauntingly beautiful tale. <laughs> All that we need to do is to give the film a title and then we can move on and give some points. Well, obviously, Uma Baby. <laughs> <laughs> but Uma Baby it is. Right. Here comes some points. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to do least spectacular catch for Yeah, of course, and I feel sorry for him because he really did try, but someone didn't put enough power into their fucking throws, did they? For <laughs> fuck's sake. So... <laughs> It's not right hearing him swear, is it? No, that's wrong. So um, is he getting... He didn't actually do any Oh, catches. no, but give the boy a point, for God's Please. sake. OK, so one point to Munya Chihuahua. Yes. OK. Amazingly, getting two points just because there was a catch involved, <laughs> John gets two points. Well done, John. Three points. And I blame you for this as well, because oh. if you've been <laughs> airbrushed CGI'd out of it and I could have just seen her hauntingly blowing the flames out, then she might have been up higher. So, three points, right. your fault. Yep, good, good, good. Three to okay. Sarah. Four points for the disturbing and yet comforting film of a woman who plucked a star from the sky... Lovely. ..under the power of her own flatulence go to Fern. <laughs> and finally, how could Ooh, my baby... <laughs> Get anything <laughs> than a deserved five points. There we go. Five points for Dara Green. Please stay where you are while Alex and I head to the stage for the final task of the show. <laughs> Hello. Who will read the task? John Kearns, the leader. 
and a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Predict whether an item will create a higher or lower number of decibels than the previous item. If you are wrong, you are out. Last player standing wins. Yeah. Yes, so, uh, very simply, Greg is going to make a noise. I am. He's then going to tell you what he's going to do with the next one, and you have to predict whether that noise is going to be louder or quieter than the previous noise. You have paddles there with higher or lower on. If you're wrong, you're out, unless all of you are wrong, and then we'll move on to the next one. But once you're out, you're out. It's a rip-off of Play Your Cards Right. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start off with the opening noise. A simple horn. Sarah, would you like to do yours before I commence? Thank you. <laughs> and now the horn proper. <laughs> and that is 107 decibels. 107. And now we're in gameplay. <laughs> this noise is going to be a packet of cereal landing on a bar. Will that be higher or lower than 107 decibels? Have a think. Please reveal your guesses now. OK, we have three hires, Ooh. two lowers. We're going to lose some people some here. people are going out. John and Sarah think lower, the rest think higher. Are you ready, Greg? Yes, that's got to be louder. Real problems, cos I didn't press the right button on the... <laughs> This is to beat 107 decibels. Tell me to release the cereal. Release the cereal. It's 101.9 decibels. <gasps> it's already down to two people. The lowers are John Kearns and Sarah Millican. This time, Greg is going to attack the marbles with an electric toothbrush. It's an electric toothbrush, and I'll be uh, thrusting it in and out of marbles in a regulation manner. OK, so do you think that's going to be higher or lower than the release of cereal onto a bar? Are you going to be jabbing or are you going to be rolling? I I'm sorry, John, I did say I'd be thrusting it in and out of the marble <laughs> in a regulation manner. <laughs> so will it be higher or lower than 101.9? Please release your paddles now. Oh, this Ooh, is going to be the end of the task. We're going to get ourselves <laughs> We've got a higher or lower. And if this is lower than 101.9, then Sarah Millican wins. If it's higher than 101.9, John Kearns, the unlikely candidate, wins. Let's dance. The brush is on. Let the thrust commence. <laughs> you did what you said you were going to do. And that was 90.7 decibels, oh. which means the winner already is Sarah Millican. There it is. <laughs> Let's go back down and see how that's affected the final score. <laughs> the points for that one, we have three people in joint third. That was, of course, Dara, <laughs> Munya and Fern. They all get three points each. Four points in second place was John. Just behind Sarah Millican, he gets five points. <laughs> so, it's John Kearns in the lead with 20 points. Well done, John. <laughs> wow. What? John Kearns wins! Please go and surround yourself with your Sunday Fun Day prizes. <laughs> so... What have we learnt today? We've learnt that if you find yourself on a night out with your friends and you've had a little too much to drink and you're feeling peckish, before you pop that late-night snack into your mouth, don't forget to ask yourself... What is the sauce? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> this episode is over, but I want you to all go to bed thinking about tonight's winner. Unbelievably, it is... John Kerr! <laughs>
for more Taskmaster, subscribe now.